My real name is Earl John P. Pardo, but most of my friends call me EJ for short. Year 2001, when I came in this country, America, working as a sushi chef, working minimum 14 hours to 20 hours a day, that's overwork and underpaid. But it's so funny when I started in this industry because somebody came to our house, explained about this, but I don't understand anything about what he's talking about. All the while I thought I just gotta save money on my phone bill. When I saw the video phone, I said, this is it. Talking to someone feels good, but seeing someone, priceless. I haven't seen my mother for a long time. My number one phone call is my mother, my family in the Philippines. I call her once a week at least. I spent tremendous amount before buying phone cards. Now, not anymore. My mother don't know how to use computer, but she know how to dial a phone. So we can see each other now, every day. Literally, every day. So now it reached the cup. On my journey in this business, my mentor, C. Anthony Harris, gave me a wake-up call. He told me, EJ, I'd rather hurt your feelings now than hurt your financial future. Then he invited me to attend my first experience in national convention event. That national convention event, all my doubts and fear are gone. He said something to me that always giving me a goosebump. He told me, you, you see this a lot of people, EJ? One of these days, this is gonna happen to California. I have only three great friends. One of them, I even strongly encourage to do this business. I said to myself, why not? I started in a grocery store. I worked myself to become a manager at that grocery store. So I stayed for six years in the retail industry. I thought I'm doing okay because, you know, having a position in that grocery store, you feel good. So I'll give it a shot and go to this national event. When I got to that event, it's blow me away. If these people changing their lives and all these people going to the States, getting their BMWs, you know, uh, telling their story, their testimony, how ch this company changed their lives. That for me, that day I said to myself, I think I can be also be a senior vice president someday. We are responsible for this body. So from that on, I keep investing to myself. I start reading good books. I listening to CDs. Something that helped me to become a better person. I stop saying things I don't like. I start saying things I like. 21 months I became senior vice president. Coming in this country, for me, it's a lot of sacrifice because I'm by myself here. I don't have relatives and family here. And I have a brother I haven't seen for more than 18 years. Because when we still keep somebody sponsor here to Japan, and I'm here in America, never crossed my mind that I can see my brother again. Last year, his birthday, I sent one as a gift. So can you imagine after 18 years, I able to see my brother again? That moment is priceless. It's so funny, when I came in this country, I don't know how to drive a car. When I became a national director at this company, I able to buy my dream car. I'm just wearing shorts and sneakers. At the beginning, they don't think that I'm gonna buy a car. I was prejudged. But when they asked me how you're gonna pay the car, I said, cash. And everybody taking care of me after that. <laughs> when I became senior vice president, company gave me what? A BMW. Can you imagine? You're in California driving a hardtop convertible, more especially when the weather is nice, and have a truck. All, all men like truck. <laughs> At the end of the day, I feel good. The only thing that don't change is my name. Now I can travel across the country, having fun, meeting new people, and making money at the same time. I always pray to God that give me a 
good friends. A true friend. Good thing about it, God is listening. He's, he don't only, only give me a friend. He showered me a lot of good people. We create a family environment. They're like my family here. I'm so excited because we're in the beginning of everything. When I look outside, when I see all these people doesn't know what is five links, it's an opportunity for everybody. The way I look at it, we can change more lives. Five links really put me in the situations can be, you can do whatever you want to do. Being poor, it's not your fault. But to die poor, that's your fault. We deserve a good life. I deserve a good life. That's why I'm willing to fight to make it happen. I'm really, really thankful that there's company like this. And ordinary people like me giving a chance to have a better life. I know I will grow more, that's why I keep investing to myself. And the good thing about it, five links is always beside me.